Love your mind. It is your most important asset. That's the overriding advice relative to one's mental health. And as World Mental Health Day approaches, people are reminded to take care of their health. This year's theme is, it is time to prioritize mental health in the workplace. According to Kizzy Matthew Clarence, psychologist and head of the Psychosocial Support Unit in the Ministry of Social and Community Development and Gender Affairs, it is globally recognized that while working is good, the fact that employees are faced with workloads, managing tasks and managing different personalities in the workplace, these can all be contributors to high stress. It therefore begs the question, what can employees and employers do to ensure that policy decisions help workers manage stress and their mental health? And for this year, 2024, we want to encourage persons, encourage persons in the workplace, encourage employers to put strategies in place to prioritize the mental health of your workers. Ensure that your policies do not allow for stigma and discrimination for those who are suffering with anxiety, depression, and other mental illness. Oftentimes, stigma and discrimination result in some people suffering in silence. Churches, non-governmental organizations, private sector, and community organizations are being urged to get on board as mental health matters. Awareness is critical, and this year, a number of activities are intended to foster their knowledge. And for this year, we began with a church service at the St. John's Open Bible Church on Sunday, 29 September. Then on October 1st, we will be collaborating with the Desk of the Elderly, who is also celebrating the International Day of Older Adults for October, to do some depression and anxiety screening again, because we want persons to be able to know where they are, to take stock of their mental health, see if they're depressed, they're anxious, or how well they are coping. On October 7th, we're looking to do a series of interministerial public education on stress management and other mental disorders or the issues that affect persons mentally. On the 8th of October, there is a mental health symposium geared at just educating persons on a number of issues, chronic illness and mental health, mental health in the workplace and men and mental health to let persons be more aware of the importance of all of these issues that might be challenging us. And then the evening session, we're encouraging persons to do self-care. That is so very important that to manage stress, we're able to care for ourselves in a number of ways. And with our month of activities also, we normally would do our signature event, which is our music lunch hour, where we bring in a live band in front of the complex. All persons are invited, come, just sit with us, dance with us, relax with us in a nice environment. Because activities include visits to elderly homes and sessions with daycare staff. The month of October is also observed as Month of the Elderly and Child's Month. Chrislina John, GBN News.